Okay, so now on to beets and um, cabbages. Let us start with the beets here because the beet seeds are coming up. Definitely need more beets than this, not a doubt. Look at that, it's pretty sparse. And um, I think that's all we're gonna get. Those are vintage beets. These are just Detroit beets. These other beets will take a long time, but we'll plant the Detroit over and we should be able to eat those in the meantime. Alrighty, we're going to take turnip greens over to the radish patch, of course, because um, I know this is a decent spot for them. It might be a little bit too sunny, but just put them in there. Over here to this grassy patch and um, plant another. They didn't give me very many turnip seeds. Oh, well. So these are early. They say 60 days, but you have to double the days in a short day climate. So it's a four month cabbage for me. I'm planting in February, which means I'll have cabbage for July. That'd be a blessing. Plant these cabbage with this cauliflower and broccoli because these will get really, really big and shade these cabbages. The broccoli gets medium sized, doesn't get as big as a cauliflower plant. So that's my strategy. So this is my cabbage bed and this is where I want my cabbages. Cabbage I'm gonna have to be deliberate Today about. Today we're gonna put out the corn, the beans, and the sunflower. So it will go where we had melons last Plant year. Out gray stripe, and they need six inches in between them. It's going to be the corn bed, but around the corn bed will be the gray stripe. When it says six inches, I always plant um, half that because um, just in case somebody doesn't make it. I'm using this. I got this as a present, and I really like it. Okay, gotta get some for the creatures, <laughs> whoever they might be. We don't know. Okay, so one row of sunflowers would be perfect for me, but I'm planting two rows just in case somebody else. Needs take a row. these beans and put them right in front of where we planted the sunflowers, of course. I find that my gardener, my um, creatures in my garden, they're real picky. They really don't like beans. <laughs> so, they love peas, they love sunflowers, but they don't understand why I'm into beans like I am. Y'all get it. So I'm just gonna keep this up for the whole row. The last thing we put in is the corn. Easy peasy. They don't give you much. That's a whole packet of seeds. So when you get these packets from the, um, oops, sorry, leaf got in front of me. <laughs> so, this is the leaf that was blocking it. Okay, it's my. that in there now this the birds think I should just put on the top so that they can eat it off and none of us will have corn I plant these this year I'm planting these a foot apart because I want um, I want to plant wheat first so I'm planting these a foot apart so that I have room for them flowers are out there so you go one foot from the sunflowers and it's right about where that leaf right there is coming up and you take a seed sorry about that plant it on the ground to 
and go right here. Put a seed in the ground because I'm going to have wheat all over here. So I'm planting just a very little seed, which is why I was able to get these cheap seeds for that little bit of corn. Got to get this in here deep enough where it's not eaten before it grows. I'm having some challenges here showing you this. There you go. the last row in here and knowing me it might be a little bit tighter than one foot but one foot is what I'm going for and now we move here it's another foot yeah these are sweet potatoes I'm growing right through the sweet potatoes the corn will have no problem coming up there's something here that the critters have planted I'm not gonna judge them. <laughs> there it is. If they want some melons for the summer, you guys go ahead and have your melons. And I will, see my corn seed? I will have my corn. <laughs> there we go.